guys welcome back to my channel I am so excited to have you guys back because we are kicking it off with one offer the biggest haul sorry of 2020 so far for me your girl has her 30th birthday coming up soon we have our engagement shoot and let's face it it's sale season so I just wanted to kind of refresh my wardrobe for spring I needed a few basics as well um, to accommodate my new body as I'm losing weight because nothing looks worse than squeezing yourself into too tight summer clothes so I bought a couple of things. Real quick, before we get into the goodies, I wanted to share with you guys my number one shopping tip of all time when it comes to online shopping, and that is Shop Tagger. It is literally my online shopping BFF. I've spoken about it for years, and it will be and always continues to be my literal favorite plugin and app that I have because it has saved me so much money in the past, I want to say four years that I've been using it. All you do is install the Shop Tagger widget onto your Google Chrome. It's a plugin. It's very simple to download and 100% free like I'm doing here. Head on over to your favorite store, and I'm telling you, they have literally partnered with almost every store. I don't think I ran into an issue where Shop Tagger does not work. Once you come across an item that you love, you cannot stop thinking about, you've already pictured ways to wear it and you know what needs to be in your closet, but maybe it's out of stock in your size or maybe, ugh, you know, you just want to have a little bit of savings and we know sale season is coming up. All you have to do is hit that shop tagger plugin and that gives you the opportunity to save not only the color but also your size. And then what's really cool is that shop tagger kind of lets you customize when you're notified. So you can be notified when the item goes on any price change which is what I usually do because that way I can decide for myself if I'm ready to snatch it up. Or perhaps you want to have at least 25% off or maybe at least 50% to make it worthwhile for you. Boom, it's up to you. You can choose when you want to be alerted. So you've done all that. Boom, you save it. Forget about it because all that's going to happen is once that item does go on sale or come back in stock, you're going to receive an email notification or a mobile push notification if you have the app letting you know that that item is on sale. Another thing that you can do is go ahead and make lists. You can do wish lists for your different items. I have clothing, shoes, and bags, but I also have a list now for wedding items as well. So it can really help me plan and strategize what I want to buy. But oh no, we're not done. It gets even more amazing. In the last little while, Shop Tiger has added on an even new feature to save you even more money that I love. And basically what the widget does is it's going to run through all the coupon codes that it knows for the specific website you're shopping on when you're in the checkout and it's going to run them all through and if a coupon code does work it will take the best coupon code and apply it to your order. Now, if there are no coupon codes that are valid at the time it will tell you that you've got the best price but literally I, there have been coupon codes that I haven't even known or scoured the internet for and I will save myself an extra 10, 15, 25 percent and I'm like Yes, please. I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to where you guys can go ahead and download Shop Tiger in the description bar. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this haul. So as you guys know, I am engaged and getting married. I was supposed to be a 2020 bride and get married this September. COVID has kind of changed that. But something that I've really been looking forward to because we don't get to have the wedding this year is that our engagement photo shoot with our photographer got pushed back due to this quarantine as well. And so that is coming up. So the first dress I picked up, obviously I went with white. I'm not sure if this is going to be a dress for my third. 30th birthday or the engagement show but this is from self-portrait and I have lasted after this dress forever let me not get makeup on it so it's really sheer this is all cotton lace and it's got the most gorgeous 3d flower detailing all over so because this is sheer it does actually have a nude slip underneath which I love and then it just comes down to a mini construction so this is a shift dress it's kind of like an a-line but it has an asymmetrical cute little hem it has really gorgeous detailing all throughout and I just thought that this was so bridal if I don't wear this for my engagement shoot I'm definitely gonna save it for some bridal activities down the line like next year like maybe bridal shower or rehearsal dinner something like that this is just a dress that literally could be in my closet for years I will wear this for years this isn't only a wedding dress okay next up I got a couple of more floaty dresses these are also some options for the engagement shoot too this one is the first one here this is by the brand Yumi Kim and I got this on Revolve. It's super, super cute. It's just a really nice, gorgeous blush pink color with these gold sparkle detailing throughout. It's also kind of sheer. This is just a very basic dress too. So it's got a nice little v-neck. You've got the little waist cinching belt here. And then you just have this tiered mini skirt on the bottom. Super, super cute. This would look gorgeous again with heels. Also with flats, I figured I could wear this. And I also figured that I would be able to wear this with my taupe over the knee boots in the fall too with like a little leather jacket to kind of add that little edge to it. So I thought this would be a very versatile piece that I wouldn't mind wearing if I don't work for the shoot or if I do, haven't decided. 
But then I also decided that this was the time to try a few pieces from another brand that I've always wanted to try, Misa Los Angeles. So the first one I picked up is this dress right here. This is a cap sleeve dress. Again, you can see it's got the ruffles, so we've got that movement that I wanted. So when I'm taking pictures, I can like swish. And it's also got this tiered skirt here as well. It's on the shorter side, which is really nice. It has the elasticated waist, so it's gonna cinch your waist. And I love that this has a very deep v-neck, so you can show off your chest. I would also probably do a bunch of gold jewelry with this as well. Um, this does have buttons, so if you do wanna be more demure, you could technically have it buttoned all the way to the top. Or if you're like me, you can wear it unbuttoned. You could also put a little waist belt around this. I have a nice gold belt that I might wear with it, but this is so gorgeous. Again, it's something you could wear with flip-flops to the beach, with heels if you're going to dinner. Super, super, super cute, and I love this. I think this is a really good option. And then the second Misa dress I picked up is this one here. I am so obsessed with the watercolor print on this dress. It is gorgeous, and if you guys know anything about me, I don't even like bright colors, I don't even like prints, but this dress just spoke to me. So this is an off the shoulder dress, it sits like this, I think this would look amazing with a tan too. You've got the real big ruffles across the chest, you've still got the elasticated waistband so it cinches you at the waist, and the same signature ruffle skirt, so I just thought, I'm looking at this now in the viewfinder and it is pop pop popping, so I think this might be something that I actually wear because it's really gonna stand out in photos and look really gorgeous with the movement. This I was thinking I would actually wear with a pair of white sneakers for that easy breezy off duty look. Super, super cute. Then I headed over to Aritzia where I picked up some basics because they had the sale of all sales going on. If you guys know Aritzia, usually they call a sale like $3, but this was actually significant for Aritzia. So I picked up a few items there too. So I got two bodysuits. These are both from Babaton. This one is called the Contour Bodysuit. Uh, this is my favorite bodysuit from Aritzia at the moment. I actually bought the nude one last fall. It's pretty low cut. You've got your tank top straps. It's got really, really nice stretchy but sleek material. It's just a great wear everywhere piece. This is something that looks amazing with jeans but also looks really cute with like shorts and everything in the summertime. This is the kind of piece that I would wear all year round. I would just maybe put on a jacket when it gets a little bit colder. And then I also picked up, I saw they came out with the same bodysuit. It's called the Contour 90s Muscles. Instead of this one being a v-neck, this one is a high neck as you can see and it's just kind of cut in kind of like a muscle tee so it shows off your shoulders which is really nice. It cuts in a little bit here. I thought that this would be really, really cute with the jean shorts that I also picked up. This also comes in a bunch of other colors, and if I like how this one looks on, because I haven't tried it yet, I will definitely buy it in all the other colors. Then the last thing that I have here from Aritzia to show you are a pair of Levi's denim shorts. Levi's, hands down, make the best denim shorts ever, especially if you're a thicker girl and you have thighs and booties and hips. These are the most forgiving denim shorts you'll ever find. They're a, kind of a short short, but they're not too short. They're longer than your traditional booty short. These come down a little bit lower at the back and then a little bit lower in your inner thigh too, so it hides the inner thigh chop perfectly. Um, I used to have these in literally every single color, but that was back when I was a size two and a 26. These are a size 28. Not gonna lie, the waist is a little big, but they accommodate my butt and my thighs, and I just wanted to have these shorts back in my life because this particular color, I wear it like no other. And then last but not least, I picked up one thing from Zara. Um, this is like hands down the best blazer I think that Zara has put out in a long time. And it is the Balmain Dupe Blazer. This one is just in the most gorgeous cream off-white color. You guys know I have my black Balmain blazer and my new Balmain blazer. I wasn't trying to spend over a thousand bucks on a blazer right now, but this is gorgeous. And I think they've done a really good job. The button placement is really nice. They've got the shoulder pads in this one too. And it fits really, really beautifully. I will say my Balmain blazers fit a little better. Obviously they should do for the price and the cut. It's a little more sleek, but this one fits really beautifully and I love it. This is also a slightly longer length too. So this would look super cute over the shoulders with that little white bodysuit and the little Levi's denim jeans for a summer kind of patio night for when it gets a little bit cooler. Super, super cute. So I got this in a size small. It was a little more expensive. It was $159, but well worth it because when you find a blazer that fits well and that has all these details, 150 bucks is a steal. So yeah guys, those are all the items that I picked up in this haul. I definitely have my eye on a few other things, so stay tuned for more hauls as well. Let me know which was your favorite and let me know what you guys have also been buying in the comments below. And don't forget to make sure you guys check out Shop Tagger down below if you guys are doing any online shopping and you guys want to save a little bit of money. 
I swear you guys will be just as hooked as I am to it. So yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back with a new video shortly and I will see you guys then. Bye.